Do not update your scan tool if you like all the different service functions that are currently installed on it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Random Fix. So scan tools have come a long way and they are easier to use than ever. Most of them have a nice interface that's easy to understand. You do not need to be a rocket scientist. And one of my favorite features of a scan tool is going to be DIY key programming. And honestly, it's very easy. I have a whole bunch of videos on how you can do it. I made this key here for the Dodge for under $6. However, going forward, this is going to become really challenging as there's a new sheriff in town. And the sheriff is a not-for-profit, non-government agency that wants money, obviously, to go ahead and join. They want to verify who you are. They want to track every scan tool that's on the market. And they're going to make it very hard for you to go and just program a simple key because it's all about that dinero. Let's talk about what this new task force is. And the name of the sheriff is going to be the NASTF. They gave it some official sounding name that is not a government agency it's basically a middleman between the oems and the aftermarket companies it's a non-for-profit but they want the money and their whole goal is to reduce the amount of vehicle <laughs> thefts however their goal interferes with us actually having the right to just service and make a key for our vehicles as a backup a lot of times i buy a pre-owned vehicle it only comes with one key, and I'm not going to pay a technician $350 for a $6 key. It's just something I'm not going to do. So if you guys are like me, you guys like learning about these little hacks and ways around things, make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up. And if you like this sort of content, subscribe to the channel. So this particular scan tool currently is able to go and read the PIN number for my vehicle. However, if I update it, it is not going to have that option of reading the PIN number. The pin number is vital for key programming. So that's what they're going to go ahead and regulate. So every time the scan tool is going to go and try to program a key, it wants to try to communicate with the internet or at least communicate with the internet in the last 24 hours. So if you're planning on making a key in the near future, do not update your tool. They want to track every single scan tool on the market and know what it does what vehicles it accesses, and this is ultimately about control. So let's talk about the update. So when you update your scan tool, you're going to notice that you may not have the option of reading a PIN number going forward. And this might have already happened to your scan tool, as I'm getting a lot of comments on previous videos that they're no longer able to go and see the immobilizer menu. So if you're experiencing this, please comment down below. Let us know the brand. So unless you're a locksmith that has gone through the background, the insurance requirements, and all the other overlays that they'll create, besides the $425 fee for the two years, it's going to be next to impossible to go and program our own keys. So that's why I'm recommending that you do not update your scan tool if you do want to make a key in the near future. If your vehicle doesn't have an issue and you don't need the newest software on it, do not update it. And the way that they will enforce this is by not allowing you to get the PIN number. So when you're programming a key, you need a PIN number. And currently, this is able to get the PIN number, and I'm able to make a key. Once I update it, I might not have this option. So you might be asking yourself, how is the scan tool going to go and validate all this if I don't have an internet connection? And how is this going to change going forward? So once the updates have been performed on your scan tool, you may notice that when you go try to program a key, you'll get a screen where it asks you for your credentials. And without these credentials, you will not be able to go forward. If you do have your credentials, what will happen is every 24 hours, your scan tool basically needs to connect to the internet as it's going to relay all the information on what you did, the VIN numbers, what was done on that particular vehicle. So let's talk about the three different levels of membership that they offer. They offer a free membership. However, you're just going to have access to the learning tools. You're not going to be able to create any sort of keys. The second option is going to be for technicians that are not locksmiths. And every time you need 
to go and access a pin. You're going to pay $45. And their most expensive and favorite membership is going to be for the Locksmith Professional. This is going to be at $425. And it's going to allow you to go ahead and read pin numbers. So as a DIY home user, I wish I really didn't have to deal with this. So the best thing for us to do is reach out to our scan tool companies and tell them that we do not want this feature enabled as they've made it voluntary for the time being. But I think they're going to go and put their foot down because obviously they want more money. So what can you do? Go ahead and email your scan tool company and let them know that you do not want to be a part of NASTF. You are not okay with paying any more fees and you do not want your scan tool tracked. So in the video description box down below, I'm going to provide the email addresses for the different scan tool companies. So if you have a Autel, that will be down there. Think Car, X Tools, whatever it is, drop them a quick email, letting them know that you're not okay with them complying. And additionally, I'll leave you guys the email address for the NASTF and their website. So you can reach out to them and letting them know that you don't appreciate them making it harder for you to use your own scan tool to program your own key for your vehicle. And to be fair, maybe we should be getting an option of just getting a free code for a vehicle that we own if we send them our driver's license and our registration. I don't know. If you guys got any ideas or know of any scan tools that are not going to comply, please comment down below and let me know what they are. And what does this mean for the scan tool market going forward? I think this is going to create a huge black market in the scan tool world because not all people are going to comply and it's going to become very expensive for huge companies. They're probably already feeling the weight of this and they may be paying thousands of dollars on top of their insurance. If there's something in this video that I didn't mention that you feel is important or you want to go ahead and comment in on this task force and if you think they're for good or for evil let me know down below if you don't want these sort of policies going forward make sure you guys do take a couple of minutes and drop those emails if you know somebody with the scan tool go ahead and share this video with them before they update and they lose that ability to go ahead and program their keys as they will really thank you and before i let you guys go look at this rain <laughs> this is crazy and as always make it a great day